Tom offers some of the most popular airband radios on the market. In particular, the A25 series is a bestseller here at Pilot Mall. There's a little confusion as to the options of this radio and the differences between the versions, so I thought I'd put together a video today to explain it to you. Let's talk about the basics. Every ICOM has six watts of peak transmit, so you can be heard. Um, on any given day, you can be heard between eight and typically 20 or 25 miles away with the transmit power of this radio, which is fantastic. They all have a 2.33 inch LCD display that's backlit like the ones shown here on display. And they're all waterproof to IP57 standards. They have a one touch button for 121.5 in emergencies. They have weather band built in and there are over 300 memory banks. You have a flip-flop feature that you can use to twist between your most recently used frequencies or you can program them in. These radios have 8.33 and 25 kilohertz spacing so they can be used in the US and in Europe. They all have a DC input on the side so you can connect a cigarette lighter adapter in the plane. That option sold separately. They have belt clips on the back so you could of course clip this to a belt or more commonly, we hear a lot of ground personnel like to clip these radios to their shirts. There's a hand strap as well for added security and there's a little loop on the back that that would connect to. Every one of these radios has a three year warranty through ICOM. We have the traditional rubber antenna that you're familiar with, but if you take that off, you'll find there's a BNC connection below. You can use this in a cockpit to connect to an external antenna if you're set up for that. Or, on the ground, a lot of FBOs typically have antennas that you can screw into as well. The A23 comes in two different versions. These the C and the N. The C stands for communication, so the C, the A25C, is a comm-only radio. There's a sport version that uses a alkaline battery pack for power that has six AA batteries inside it. As well, there is a more advanced version, the full version, that has a lithium ion battery for power, which is 2,350 milliamps, and gets you about 10 hours. When you go up to that full version, you get the wall cradle as well, and an AC adapter, um, so you can rapidly charge the unit. And as well, with that full version, there is a headset adapter that you simply plug into the side, and now you have dual plugs to connect to a standard general aviation headset. So those are the differences between the stripped down sport version and the full version of the C. When you move up to the N model, N standing for navigation, you get all of the features of the C. So the lithium ion battery, the desktop cradle, and the charger, but you also have navigation built into the unit. You have the ability to tune a VOR with localizer and GPS. It's not the typical type of GPS that you're familiar with. There's no actual moving map like ForeFlight or a Garmin unit. It's simply the ability to tune the Lange and Lat on the device, which you could use as waypoints. And there is an iOS app that helps you doing that where you could program the unit directly from your phone. In addition, on the N model, there is Bluetooth, which is a fantastic feature. You can connect via Bluetooth to your Bose or Lightspeed headset or even to a cell phone to get clearance on the ground. Well, that explains the basics of the A25C, Sport, Full, and N for navigation models. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or reach out directly to Pilot Mall. Thanks so much for watching the video.